I, I just enjoyed being out, being away from everybody, and getting out on the airboat and, and accessing some of these backcountry areas that, that there's really no access to otherwise. I've wanted to be a wildlife biologist since I was three years old. Um, I, I went back and forth from naturologist to a marine biologist, and, and wildlife biology is what I settled on. I'm, we had Hurricane Ike, so that's been a big problem for us here on the refuge. So currently we're doing a lot of that, a lot of airboat work. We're marking gators and uh, tagging ducks this summer. Can up just a little bit or roll over? First catching alligators, uh, we man, it, again, it's a, a crew-based activity. Go out at night uh, primarily because it's easier to catch the animals that we're after, the critters that we're after in the marsh at night. Um, it, during the daytime, they're real spooky. They can see a long ways. The driver will spot a, an alligator and push up onto the alligator and then we'll put a noose around their neck and we noose them. It doesn't hurt them. And we'll let them kind of, sometimes if it's a bigger gator, we'll let them kind of get tired out before we try to pull them in the boat before we're uh, going to work them up. So smaller alligators, we'll just pull them up on the deck of the airboat and we take a series of measurements, total head, girth, total length, total length. Down. And then we also are implanting a pit tag in the alligator. It's a subdermal tag, just like goes in a, a dog or a cat or your pet at home. And that allows us to track alligator movements across the marsh. Ready? One, two, three. And it's allowing us to relocate those individuals if they're harvested during the commercial harvest. Right now we're out tracking satellite birds. We've put out 15 satellite radios this summer on model ducks. She's actually in pretty good health and Mold we're out doing some habitat assessments. The model ducks were able to get up on them closer. We're able to shine spotlights in their eyes and kind of blind them so that we can get up on them. I feel like you've got to kind of have a, a gritty edge to you and be able to, to handle all the extreme conditions that you work in. We work in a lot of heat, a lot of cold, and a lot of rain and different types of weather. Uh, you got to be able to handle the insects and, uh, you know, nasty water being all over you. 93033. 93029 is the one we're looking for. We have a very strong crew-based orientation with, with the job that I have. You can't do most of it by yourself.